Hi, my name is Donna Jo Napoli and I make books for kids. You might know some of the characters in my stories. Characters like Albert, Pin, the Prince of the Pond, and Harriet from Take Your Time. Today I want to talk to you about one character in particular, Noah. Noah is one of the important figures in my book, Treasury of Bible Stories. Tell us about your character. Noah was selected from the masses for something special, as special as anything can get, being allowed to survive, all because he was obedient and faithful when other people were not. That's a good thing, right? But think about being him. What would it be like to be pulled away from the others? He has his wife and three sons and their wives, but that's all, no friends. He had to leave everyone else behind. Imagine the sadness and the fear. And Noah had the responsibility of keeping those animals alive for the duration of the rains. And then for all those months as the floods receded until dry land showed. So I love Noah. I love his sense of hope. He has the courage to try to do the nearly impossible. And he works hard to do it right. Anyone can gain courage from thinking about what Noah did. Is there a story from your childhood that helped inspire the character? I grew up in a very limited world. We didn't travel and we didn't have books at home. But I became a mole in the library. And through the books I read, I traveled the world backward and forward in time into the lives of poor people like me and into the lives of fabulously wealthy people. I became beasts and birds and fish. I was anyone I read and it gave me a sense of freedom and knowledge and empathy. That's why I write, to give children the world beyond their daily experience, to help them find freedom and knowledge and empathy. What made you want to become a creator of books? It might have been my grandmother who inspired me to be a storyteller. She spoke only Italian, which made her lonely in Florida, where we knew hardly any Italian people. She would sit in a chair and crochet and sew, and I'd sit by her feet. When her thimble would drop and fall away, it was my job to fetch it for her. Anyway, she told stories nonstop. Then she'd reach the end of the story and laugh and laugh I only understood the barest minimum, but seeing how happy those stories made her made me happy too. Maybe that was the beginning of my rich inner life because I was always telling myself stories. A branch would fall off a tree and I'd imagine it was a huge snake that terrorized the rabbits and lizards. A door would slam and I'd imagine it was thunder announcing a deluge and I'd have to run, go build a raft for me and the neighborhood stray cat I loved. Ah, uh, the beginnings of Noah there. I'd pick up an earthworm on the sidewalk after a heavy rain and dig a hole in the mud to set him in. And I'd imagine him sliding into an underground world where eyeless creatures talk to each other through tickles and spit. Stories kept me company no matter what I was doing whether I was climbing a tree to pick mangoes for my mother, or standing in waves at the beach, or just daydreaming in school. Stories are wonderful that way. If you found a whale in your bathtub, what would you do? I'd be prepared, since I'd have imagined it being there ahead of time, that good old rich inner life. I'd have a crew place the whale in a semi-weightless room so that the whale's own weight out of water would not crush its lungs or make it unable to move. Then I put delicious food way, way across the room. This is a big room, the size of a football field. Something like a penguin, if it was a killer whale, or a large bowl of copepods, if it was a blue whale. And I'd watch to see how the whale got to the food. And of course, I'd snatch away the penguin before the whale reached it. I'd want to see if that whale moved on land, like in the water, humping along, which is what one might predict, 
since seals and walruses do that on land. Or if that whale would somehow surprise everyone and roll or wiggle to the food. Whales are smart, so I bet they are resourceful and innovative. Thank you.